is always known for its beautiful nature destinations. And what better way to fully immerse ourselves in this beauty than spending a night in the nature. You might consider camping for this, and you're not wrong. But hey, I'm a Gen Z. I don't even know how to build a tent. That's why we're going for glamping instead. In case you're not familiar, glamping stands for glamorous camping. It's become quite a trend lately, so we're here to see what all the hype is about. Then we'll also explore the beauty of Nanto County. Yep, you guessed it. We're heading to Taiwan's famous Qingqing farm to visit the adorable ships. Before everything, let's have lunch. Good morning from Taichung, Taiwan. Today we are going to glamping in Taichung, Taiwan. And right now we're having lunch. We want to tell you a little bit this weather today is not very preferable. It's raining outside, but we have booked this site for some time, so we have to go. We just have to see what's there. We are very ex excited though because glamping in Taiwan has always been in our bucket list for a very long time. And today we can do Finally. it. Yeah, even though the weather is not really in our side, but yeah, hopefully we'll get better. Yeah, but first, let's have lunch. Like I say, we are not alone here. Here. Uh, say hi, guys. Hi. I know I mentioned that we're going on a road trip by motorbike but the weather is not good it's it's raining quite hard so we rented a car here it's going to be around 40 minutes to one hour ride so let's go guys so once you arrive they will give you an afternoon snack you can either eat it at the cafeteria there or bring it to your room but right now uh, my friends they are having the snack there and we're going to check out the room first now let's do a room tour this is our tent here okay remove your shoes before entering open the tent it's super cute, look guys It's a mini room I'm going to go in This is for 4 people, so they have 2 double beds That's why we are we came here with our friends and it's so much nicer than I thought It's actually quite tall, the ceiling And there's an AC here or a fan if you feel hot in but right now because it's still spring so it's still very cold at night and a little mirror just for you let's go outside okay so out here is our little patio we can just sit here and chill in the morning if you want right even right now it's super nice and out here they say at night they might have campfire if it's not raining or an outdoor movie night so we will see tonight how it goes now let's get settled down uh, i think the best part about glamping is that uh, you don't need to prepare anything it feels like a hotels but it's in outdoor in the nature they even have electricity 
towels for you guys and you don't need to build your own camp like camping I really like it dinner time at our glamping area and it's so nice they have prepared this buffet for us so can you imagine when you go camping you have to bring your own stuff your own eggs and everything but here they do it for you and it's all it's buffet guys so I haven't told you that this glamping is called immersion glamping and it's located at Nanto no it's actually at Taichung but it's so close to Nanto County in Taiwan and if you use this booking link here you'll get a 5% off with the link below. So let's have dinner. So let's try the food. I got the fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay, let's try the fried chicken too. Oh, can you hear that? It's so crispy. And the restaurant is very complete though. You can mm. find like any kind from vegetarian to any kind of meat. Mm. Yeah. I like it. It's nice and it's getting crowded now. A lot of people are here. Terakimas guys. Terakimas. Dinner was really great. We ate a lot, quite a lot actually, because it's a buffet style, so you can, you know, it's all you can eat. Yeah, and, and there are so many choice of also the food. Mm. There's so many choice of food, and yeah, mm. you can choose. Yeah, my favorite is the fried chicken. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're back at our tents. As you can see, it's very nice at night here. It's very cozy, and unfortunately, because of the rain, we cannot have the campfire. Yeah. There is campfire just behind of us. Right here. You cannot use this campfire. Also they have movie night in the dining room but it should be outdoor as well. Yeah. But because of the rain they have to put it inside. But it's all it's also really nice I think. Yeah, they play some movies but we mm -hmm. choose to stay with our friends. We're gonna play cards, but first we're gonna take a bet, then we're gonna play cards. And the place is very aesthetic though. You can take a photo here and it's the tents is very nice and very aesthetic. Okay, so let's go clean up first. I slept in two minutes. <laughs> so cool. So misty now. night we haven't showed you the bathroom guys uh, so if you go glamping actually a lot of camping sites also have bathroom but the one here is super nice uh, so here is the shower lights on and they have come in they have body wash and also shampoo and this is a really good brand in Taiwan it's 
cha shu tang. I've seen it a lot and it's quite expensive. Okay. And also the toilet. If you wanna go do your business, you can do it here. Okay. I don't think he flushed. Okay, this one. Close it for you. It's very small, but you can do the things you need here. And here there's a lot of washing bin. And also the most important thing, hair dryer. Because a lot of camping sites they don't have hair dryer, so it's hard for girls. But here they have it. Very nice, very convenient. They also have here. If you have your iron, your hair iron, you can just plug it here and do your own thing. And now we're going to get ready, so let's clean up. They also have skin cares here. This is a toner. And the other one is um I think it's a moisturizer. Oh, it's an essence. Okay, it's very nice. Another thing that I noticed that they have sanitary pads. Sanitary pads, cotton buds, and also alcohol. So it's very nice. It's very easy for everyone to stay here. I forgot my eyeliner in the room, so let's go to the room, get ready, and have breakfast. But first, coffee. You know, as in Southeast Asian, rice is everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, it's all about rice. So now we chilled here for a bit it's very nice here guys especially the sky is finally clearing up so you can see this 360 feet of all the mountains super nice so we totally rec recommend this place for you to go glamping and right now we're going to go to our next destination so let's go Road trip problems. <laughs> That's all. So, because we are headed to Nanto, we stopped by this restaurant because of the few. Look at that guys, so amazing. Now we're just going to eat before we continue our journey. We got the whole chicken. Look at that. Ooh. It's a tradition to eat the whole roasted chicken when you go on a road trip in Taiwan. So let's try. at Qingqing farm it's a farm at Nanto and you can see a lot of goats here and the landscape here is just amazing so you can just buy your tickets from the locket here it's 200 NT per person but if you're a student in Taiwan it's 160 by the way they close at 5 p.m. so you better come here quick 
look at the view guys because uh, Qingqing Farm is located near Huan San, which is uh, the very famous mountain in Taiwan so you can see the views from the tops it's very beautiful We're going to buy the food for the, the, sheep. the sheep so we can feed them and it's 30 NT per box. You can buy it on the vending machine. On the vending machines nearby the stage. There's a stage there where they will do the shows. Yeah, yeah actually there's so many vending machines. There's also one vending machine in front in the entrance gate. Oh okay, there's I didn't so see that. We got the food! Yeah. Good job! Try! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feed the sheep But do you know the last time we feed animal is in the Nara Park And let's see if we can do the same with the Nara deer huh? Let's go. I don't think so. <laughs> this, is how. this is how to do it. <laughs> this is the, the appropriate way to do it like a Nara deer. <laughs> Here you go. Sheepy, sheepy, sheep. Whoop. Do you like that? So the shepherd are calling them to go home. Look. They're all running from the hill. Look there. Everyone is gathering. Okay, so like I mentioned, they close at 5 p.m. Right now it's 4.30 p.m. So at 4.30, they will call all the ships back to their home. So highly suggested to come here earlier. But it's super cute, we get to feed them. That was really fun. Okay, a little pro tip here. The fastest way to get here is from Taichung HSR station. There's a public bus that can take you directly to Ching Ching Farm and you only need to pay by cash or your easy card. So it's very convenient. But if you come here with your big group of friends or family, you can always rent a private tour. And my choice to rent private tours is from Get Your Guide. I use this myself as well as travelers because they have so many offers and the price is really good. And the best part is it's so convenient. You can book everything online through your phone or from your laptop. I'll link down below some tours that you can rent to Qingqing Farm and other parts of Nanto like Sun Moon Lake. I hope you guys will use it because it's so convenient if you come here with a tour. It takes probably around two hours from Taichung City to get here. Now we're going to look around and just enjoy the beautiful view here. Mm -hmm. 